I'm an apprentice structural technician. I'm an apprentice in civil engineering. I'm a building services apprentice. I'm a design apprentice. I've actually just finished my A-levels, but I knew I didn't want to go on to university. I was completing my GCSEs and being advised to do A-levels, I wasn't completely into that idea. I decided that doing science and maths wasn't gaining me any engineering experience. I decided that I'd try and find an apprenticeship which would teach me all the things I need to know about the industry. My best friend's brother, he was talking to me about how he'd went up through the apprenticeship and now he's a full-time employee. It was a choice then between apprenticeship and uni and it was just experience all the way. I find that in a classroom you have scenarios made up by people while in the real world you can't find the answers in the textbook. I like the whole concept of being able to be challenged on a daily basis. There's a lot more fun towards apprenticeship but there's so many different aspects towards engineering. Usually on my day to day I'll be designing below ground drainages, I'll be talking to manufacturers about products, specifying, and everything will change depending on the situation. I'm mainly involved in the design, putting all the equipment and services into a building and make sure it works. As a BIM technician, I use computer programs to draw out designs that the engineers have given me. They've given me projects to work on, like projects within projects, they've kind of put me in charge of and it's like, it's a really nice responsibility. I think the best bit about my job is coming in every day and knowing that whatever I'm going to do it will make a big impact. Going to see the finished product and actually being able to say, oh yeah, I did that. Getting to work with people that I want to aim to become and now that you look at somebody and you can think like, that is achievable. I worked on a project in Canada, it's a 33,000 seat stadium and I was involved in interpreting the ductwork and the pipework. That's finished now and it's quite good to see the finished product and knowing that you were involved. Probably the most interesting project I've worked on is the, the mailbox in Birmingham. I was responsible for doing some of the lighting design. Ancaster House because it's like a standing point for gaining the trust within the industry. North Whiteley, so you want 3,500 housing units. Seeing how team communication is so important is something that was challenging but was more motivating to work together and get it done. With the apprenticeship you also do one day at college a week. The Sophie Dirt College really helped me at work because right at the start of my apprenticeship I knew nothing about any of the calculations. It was college that gave me all of that information. A professional qualification can benefit any student because they're getting their qualification alongside their working knowledge. We work really closely with ICE and SIBSI to grow our standards and make sure our standards are good enough for the qualification that we're delivering. I mean it's all well and good having the experience. You're never going to be able to progress onto higher routes if you don't have like the qualification backing. The professional qualification is growing so much and I think employers are starting to be aware of it as well as learners being able to get into an industry where they can work, being paid a wage and do a qualification at the same time. With apprenticeships you simultaneously develop your career whilst getting the qualifications for it. It's a lot more challenging than you may think but it's definitely just as rewarding. I think it's enabled me to grow a lot more as a person than I would had I just been at school. If you're feeling like education sort of a drag on you at the moment, definitely go for it. I felt with an apprenticeship, I know what I'm working towards. I know what I can achieve. I'd probably say it's the best decision I've made to date, just because I've now got a job that's secure. It's gave me a natural career. I'm only a few years into my career and I've already been working on it. Things I'd never thought I'd get the chance to do. If anyone wanted to apply for an apprenticeship or to find out more about an apprenticeship, you can go on the National Apprenticeship Service website, which is apprenticeships.gov.uk, or you can apply to us directly. Thank you.